How do we use the definition of the derivative to actually find the derivative of functions? Like for example, if I had y equals x squared, how could we use that definition of the derivative, namely the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, how can we use this definition of the derivative to be able to find the derivative and what does that derivative actually mean? Well remember that when we found the definition of the derivative we were finding the slope of the tangent line at any point x. So for example if I wanted to find the slope of the tangent line at x equals 2 on this graph of x squared this tangent line would look a little something like this and I would be able to find the slope of this tangent line at x equals 2 by first taking the derivative of y equals x squared and then plugging in 2. The derivative actually gives you the slope of any tangent line on that function at any x value. So let's use the definition of the derivative to find the derivative of y equals x squared. Well our function here is x squared. So what this is first telling us to do is plug in my stuff x plus h into x squared. So here we go, we've got the limit as h approaches zero. If I were to plug x plus h into x, that would be stuff squared minus plugging x into our function, that's just x squared, all over h. Now if we use our limits analysis, first we can plug in 0 into h, and you realize that you get x squared minus x squared, that's 0 over 0. That's not going to work. We can't just plug in 0. It would be wonderful if that was the case, but it's not. So let's go to step 2. Let's do some algebra gymnastics. To do these algebra gymnastics, let's first square out the x plus h. So here we have the limit as h approaches 0 of x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. We've got the minus x squared, and this is all over h. Well, x squared minus x squared, that cancels out. And take a look at this. I've got 2hx plus h squared in my numerator. I can factor out an h. So here I have the limit as h approaches 0 of h times 2x plus h all over h. And lo and behold, my h's cancel out. That means that there was a whole at h equals 0. That also means that I can now plug 0 into h. And when I do that, when I plug in 0, I get 2x plus 0. This is equal to 2x. Now we have some notation here. We have just found that the derivative of y equals x squared is equal to 2x. Now we found the derivative of our function y with respect to x. x is my variable in all the stuff, all the stuff's happening to x, and y is my output here. And so we're going to call y the actual function itself. So we took the derivative of our function y with respect to the variable x. And the way that we notate this is dy over dx is equal to 2x. Now you've seen this notation before, but just in an algebraic way. In algebra, slope was defined as delta y over delta x, where delta y was some change in y, and delta x is some change in x. All we've done here is we've changed our delta to a d. Delta is algebraic, d 
is what we use in calculus, and they mean slightly different things. If you consider what we're actually doing here, finding the slope of a tangent line, is we're still finding slope. So it is some change in y over a change in x. However, we're finding the slope really as two points approach one point. What that means is that my change in y is infinitesimal. It's infinitesimally small. And my change in x is also infinitesimally small, approaching zero, in fact. So as my change in y approaches zero, we call that an infinite sliver of y. And that's what dy means. It's an infinite sliver of y. And my x, as my change in x approaches zero, that's going to be an infinite sliver of x. And that is what dy over dx means. It means the change in y over the change in x, but this change is just a tiny sliver. It is so infinitesimally small that we call it a little bit of y, a little bit of x. So this is a teeny bitty bit of y and a teeny weeny bit of x. Now, dy over dx equals 2x. What this means is that if you find dy over dx at any point x, for example, let's find dy over dx at x equals 2 because that was the problem from the very beginning. We want to find the slope of the tangent line at x equals 2. If we found dy dx at x equals 2, we can plug 2 into here. 2 times 2 is 4. That means that the slope of the tangent line at x equals 2 is equal to 4. If you want to find the slope of the tangent line at x equals 0, you would plug 0 in. 2 times 0 is 0. And of course, at x equals 0, take a look at what kind of a line would be going on here. This is would be tangent to this little uh, valley down here. Well, it turns out a horizontal line like this with slope 0. And that's why dy over dx at x equals 0 is 0.